Okay, so after that, I went ahead and switched out Blastoise for uh, Supporygon 2 here, because I did want another bulky attacker um, on the special side. <laughs> um, what could he lead with? Fortress is a good lead, I think. Yeah, you can go ahead and fake out. And it's going to deal yourself more damage. Well, me, and then I'm just going to go ahead and set up my stealth rocks. And pull switch out. He will probably rapid spin. Oh, no, he goes for the aura sphere. Interesting. Okay, he's just going straight up offensive. And then, uh, let's see. I don't really think Blastoise carries anything to get by Toxicroak. But I could be completely wrong. But I'm just going to go for it anyway. And hope for the best. And he's going to spin the rapid spin. I will take it. And go for the... Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it. And I should have seen that coming. Easy way me. Shit. Well, I guess support Jirachi's a thing. Just gonna drain punch. <laughs> it's still it's resisted and so sash. Alakazam, you one squishy mofo. And I could either get parahexed and die, or... Yep. Okay, fought through the paralysis. Sweet. I wish I had had brought a heal beller, which... My usual... Uh, I tried doing something different with this team, um, because my usual team comp is rather... Well, unoriginal. <laughs> and uh, it is composed of, like, freaking... Stupid shit, usually. Like, uh, oh gosh, I'm getting so lucky with the Parahax right now. And he forfeits. Alright, let's go ahead and find another one. But normally, like, my staple team is, because it's the best, is uh, uh, Florius is, you know, obviously the best special wall in the team. Oh, god damn it. I always forget about Suicune. Fuck. Um, but anyway... Uh, Florius is obviously the best special wall in the tier, although Alakazam does do a good job. It's, it's actually kind of a good thing Alakazam dropped because of Florius. I think he has a rather good niche now in the tier because he's very fast special attacker and he has access to Psy Shock to get to completely bypass Florius. Um, and, uh, Come on, dude. What are you doing? And, um, even bulky Florges on the physically defensive side aren't going to survive, too. At least to my knowledge. Um, yeah, shit. Well, I'm kind of afraid of this thing setting up in my face, but I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And then, uh, I got my rocks up on the field. So at this point, I I sort of do this thing around, but I sort of don't. He's got a fortress of his own. But, again, not too big a deal. Okay, I have a choice here. I can either go into him and go for an earthquake. Or I can go to him. No. I'm just going to go into him and go for the earthquake. I almost want to go for the superpower, just because Victini and, and Toxic are really the only thing that safely switch in. And I'm hoping he either A, thinks I'm a salt vest, or and stays in, or B, well no, I don't know. Honestly, I don't really understand. It's the Solvest Crocodile, but I, I, I've seen it. Um, 
And I've seen bulky crocodile, and it just doesn't really make too much sense to me. I mean, I know he got a, I think he got a physical, physical defense buff this gen, but it just, even with the Intimidate, I just, I don't see his typing good defensively. He goes in the fortress. Should have went for the knockoff. Alright, well now I'm going to go into my own fortress, predicting him to set up spikes or rocks or something. Alright, whatever. He killed my fortress. Now I have free reign to switch into my Toxicroak and start setting up. Because I don't think, yeah, he's just going to do that. And I know it's greedy. Nah, I can't do it. I'm just going to go straight for the Drain Punch. Shit, didn't kill it. Drain punch again. Okay, that completely negated the damage dealt there. Now the problem is, is freaking Houndoom is still out, and I didn't get to set up another sword stance. And uh, sucker punch. It did an all right amount, but I'm just I'm not living that. There's no way. <laughs> Ampharos. Let's do it. Nope. No. No. <laughs> um. Volt switch should do the trick. And honestly, if he switches into Shaman or Victini, whatever, I don't. I don't really want to stand against it. And Volt switch is going to hit everyone on his team hard, except for Shaman. In which case, it's a good thing I'm switching out because then I can get the matchup I want against Shaman. Which honestly would probably be Oregon. Okay, there we go. And yeah, Shaman was the switch I figured he would do. Um, now, yeah, now I go into Porygon. Get the special attack raise because he doesn't know his stuff, it looks like. And then, honestly, I'm going to go for the try attack because try attack is going to hit everything neutrally and it's going to do a fuck ton to shame it. Um, even though it's not super effective, but. And Porygon to taking those things all day. Oh my gosh, it didn't kill. Wow. Now I'll just recover. You die, and boop. <laughs> You're so st Oh, gosh. Now I'm going to go into Frost Last, predicting the Drain Punch or the Sword Stance. Gunk Shot. Going to trick you as Choice Specs. Because I imagine you would go for Sucker Punch. Um, or he would switch. And if he switches into friggin' Suicune and I trick it a Scarf, or Specs, I mean, possible. I mean, it's still sort of useful, but the problem is if he, he switches into Mega Houndoom. Which is exactly what he does. <laughs> no. Alright, Ampharos. Damn it. I had a feeling he would do that. Let's see if he double switches. Uh, and Ampharos could be taking them flamethrowers flame throwers all damn day. Um, and now that Shaman's gone, I can volt switch thing. Uh, last, last. Really want Frost Lass to do something. I like Frost Lass. So yeah, this thing's scarfed the way he brought this in. But 
now I can get the um, matchup I want. For the earthquake. Which, if he switches in Suicune, which is his only option here, I think that guy really just did that. Wow. Okay, well, there's that. <sighs> anyway, let's go ahead and go to the next one.